Hey, what's up? Robert here coming at you with another Photoshop tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this snow type. So it's basically just a bunch of styles added to the layer. Uh, but I'm also going to show you how to add that background. So let's get started. File new and I'm going to go with the width at 700 by 700 pixels. Click OK. And now set up your colors. I'm going to choose a background color of this kind of purplish color. You can go ahead and copy my hex code if you want. Um, so click OK and then I'm going to choose the foreground color. Here's the color I'm using. It's a little bit of a lighter purple. Click OK. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a radial gradient. So go to the gradient tool. It's under the paint bucket tool. And uh, choose your gradient here of foreground to background gradient. And then make sure radial gradient is checked there. Then I'm going to start from around this area, not totally centered, kind of off center. And just click and drag down and there we have our background. Another thing we're going to add is a shape. So we're going to come over here to the shape tool. Hold that, hold that down. Uh, go to custom shape tool. And we're going to come over here and choose oh, it's already picked uh, this little registration target here. That's what it's called. And then uh, just you can zoom out a little bit and draw it out. You can hold down the space bar to move it around. And you can center it to wherever you need it. And then click off of that. And you can see it, it made the shape in our uh, foreground color, which is perfectly fine. We're going to set the blending mode from normal to overlay. And we're going to bring the opacity down to around 10. All right, so that's looking good so far. Let's create another new layer. Go to the brush tool and set your brush at a good size. Hardness, zero. And then foreground color can stay the same. And let's just dab a little bit of that color there again, just to add some more brightness. We could actually uh, increase the size, just like that. Now let's add some text. So go to your text tool, and I'm just gonna choose a simple font this font right here. I'm not even going to go into that name. And I'm going to choose a font color of white. You can even check to uh, make it all caps. Or you can just use the caps lock on your keyboard. I'm, I'm kind of lazy to use the caps lock button, so I'm going to make sure that's checked there. And I'm just going to type in snow. Center that off here. And now here we go. Let's add those layer styles. We're going to double click on our text. And we're going to add a drop shadow. We're going to start off with the drop shadow with the color black multiply. Uh, bring the opacity down to around 25% or so. Do not use global light. Distance at 10. Um, spread at 0 and size at 0. 0, everything looks good. Now let's go into our inner shadow. Let's change the color of this black to a lighter blue color around there. Click OK. And bring the opacity down to around 40. Let's change the distance to 4, um, 0, and the size at f around 15 or 16. And down here under contour, we're going to change this up a little bit to this cove shallow button here. And did you see what that did? So we can click off of that. And we're going to now go into our inner glow. For the inner glow, I'm going to choose kind of that dark purplish blue color. Maybe a little bit lighter. Maybe a little bit more blue. All right, right there looks OK. Click OK. Let's change the blend mode from screen to multiply. Choke, zero, size, 10. And everything else looks good. So now bevel and emboss. We're going to go with the inner bevel technique. Let's go with chisel soft. Um, size that around. Let's bring that down. Two or three. Bring the soften up a little bit. Yeah, around seven. One, twenty, thirty is okay. Let's not use global light. Let's change the color of this highlight mode to a, a brighter blue 
and this set this from screen to multiply and then let's change the shadow mode to white how about a linear dodge on that and bring both of these up to 100 all right looking good let's add a gradient overlay and let's choose some colors here let's go with uh let's go with the light blue again click ok and let's let's add another blue and another blue bring this white over and let's make another white over here bring these in a little bit actually let me let me change this style to angle let's change the angle a little bit bring the opacity down and that looks good finally let's add a stroke color black let's just bring it up to four pixels a little bit more four to five pixels outside normal bring the opacity down around maybe 35 or so and then click OK let's zoom in on this and there you have your snowy looking text done in Photoshop hope this helped thank you for watching be sure to subscribe to the channel check out the website robertsproductions.net follow me on Twitter at Robs Productions and until next time take care